Oh boy, this is getting a lot, I mean, a lot hotter around here. Hey everybody, this is me, Duffy Duck here, and I'm back for the Maxi Toys, and welcome back to more as play of New Super Luigi -O for the Nintendo Wii U, aka the New Super Mario Bros. U DLC thing. So anyways, last time that we actually did manage to fully completely done with uh, Rain Clouds, and today for this episode we're about to be moving on into the last main world in the game, in this case, the 8th and final main world of the game, as far as this game is concerned. Most like New Super Mario Bros. U, we're gonna have to come across into Peach's Castle, which everything else is in lava-based. So anyway, let's go get started with, um... Peach's Castle Dash 1, uh, Magma Moat. In this case, in this level right here, we're gonna have to come across into a lot of meteors, which sure enough, though, there might be original things there. Ah, god dang it, I did that too early. Might have done that a little bit too early for my part, but um, oh well, let's try that again, shall we? But even then, though, I still got some plenty of items to my disposal, so I think I might actually use my fire flower for this. So, in this level in, in general, that it might, uh, we might actually go ahead and uh, just say right now, I think we might actually come across into the final um, secret exit in the entirety of New Super Luigi. So, even then, though, that yeah. But even though no, it will take you to the exactly the same place as what does it for New Super Mario Brothers on you, but except in, you know, the level's name's different. So anyway, so in this case, in this level's gimmick-wise is that these, um, uh, this is very similar to Meteor Mode from, um, New Super Mario Brothers U counterpart, which you always do in this particular level is by basically dodging those, um, Meteor Showers, and that's all you do. And also some, um, sinking platforms and raising the platforms back up. So yeah, that's all you're essentially trying to do here. Now, when it comes to the secret exit in this in this level, and the final secret exit in New Super Luigi U, in order to do this though, you need to actually let the meteors try and destroy those blocks, because if you manage to jump onto those blocks, you won't able, able to actually break for them. So, just wanted to let you go to notice that. And there's another um, Luigi secret where there's actually a statue formation of Luigi taking his hat off, and then it says clear underneath it. So that's kind of cool. Sadly though, no notifications on that whatsoever because I only get hit by the um, Koopa Trooper by complete accident. So there we go, there's the, all of the secret exits are done, so in this case they are a grand total of 12 secret exits in total, so even then though, it, pla it plays exactly like New Super Mario Bros. U version with the, um, you know, 12 secret exits all combined, so anywho. So now let's go back to this level right there and do the third and final star coin and the normal regular exit. Luckily though, you don't have to deal with that P-Switch uh, mechanic thing on, on like uh, Meteor Mode and New Super Mario Bros. U, because um, every now and then, and that in order to actually get the secret exit from in this level though, is that you need to actually let the meteors destroy this um, blocks, which, sure enough though, that it might be a mind of its own thing, but hey. Now as far as I, if I remember rightly, the third and final star coin was going to be nearly at the end of the level, so even then though, with that being said, that I think it was pretty much at this particular sequence, just over towards over here, roughly. And basically what we need to do is just bust these brick blocks over there, and then basically what we can do is by simply you need to hop into this particular center part. And then once you do, boom, star coin popped up. There you go. So yeah, it's really easy though, unlike how it does it in um, New Super Mario Bros. U's uh, medium mode. Just that the only tougher part I find from um, the final star coin in that particular level in New Super Mario Bros. U is the fact that it was actually quite tricky in timing and this is quite tricky. Because usually speaking, that uh, you have to use the um, the Koopa shell in order to toss it, or just quick wall jumps and what have you. So, um, anywho, because of that though, I think that New Super Luigi used third and final star coin was actually quite easy for me, I have to say. Anyways, next level we have is uh, Peach's Castle 2, Magmeo, uh, I can't pronounce that um, first word very well. Uh, river cruise. So in this case, we once again have to deal with the river cruising mechanic. So even then, I'm pretty sure that's what I was going to be doing here. First star coin, quickly hop into those um, two pairs of these push them off blocks, and that's all you do. Simple, simple, straightforward. However, the second star coin is going to be a little bit trickier for first time players, but once you get enough um, practicing with the uh, the shell tossing for those sort of particular situations, or in this case, what I did there, I actually freeze up um, Goombas in order to actually toss them. So yeah, that does count as well if you actually gave us a 
pretty much an accurate timing, though. That's the only thing. So yeah, for this level, it feels exactly similar to the likes of um, the Magma River Cruise from New Super Mario Bros. U, but except the fact that, obviously, the level itself is really short, and also star coins are going to be um, summed up as, like, well hidden, while the other time is just that the, si uh, the second star coin is actually at the lava itself, which, in order to get you need to use the Cooper Shell, or just freeze up in the enemy, and then toss it like that way, so yeah. That's how I usually do that right there, especially I recommend the Ice Flower for this particular level. And the third and final star coin is pretty obvious, it's just at the fire, bro. And there we go. Now I believe the next level after this, it was actually called, um, Peter's Castle 3 Hot Cogs. So in this case, we're gonna have to go and come across into... The underground fire cavern were filled with cogs. So in this case, this level wasn't too hard at all to me. So the only time you might actually go dodge for these little ob obstacles sometimes is these bloody boots are spinning. So yeah, there's another 8-bit Luigi secret. The second star point's there. And the third and final one, we need to actually just be really accurate with your timing jumps and what have you. So I don't think the third and final star coin... Oh, actually, I highly recommend you to actually just to provide you to use the Ice Flower for this particular level because Ice Flower is a godsend when you're actually trying to deal with um, plot of boost to begin with. Well, too bad though, there aren't any ice flowers in um, New Super Mario Bros. DS and even New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. Well, granted, because of how they actually need to add them to the, uh, the classical items, make a return, or something like that, so... You're not that hard. The only time you might actually get in trouble with is the second star coin, because you have to be really right on with your timing um, quick jumps and what have you, so anyway... Okay, so the next level we have is, um, I believe the level from the far right, I'm the best around, which, congratulations to you, by the way, for um, the super play mode. So anyways, the next level we have is Peach's Castle Dash 4, which I'm assuming this is called Fireball Rising. In this case, this time around though, we don't actually have an auto scrolling level this time around, because instead, we can actually walk around, although, despite the fact that I've got hit there, right there, which is a little bit cheap at times, although they're not so cheap, but it's just the fact that I wasn't paying attention to how, well, um, or maybe I just forgot that how these, uh, meteor showers was just about to approach, so anywho. So in this case, in this level's gimmick is that once again, much like the first level in Peach's Castles, that we have to deal with the meteor showers. And also you need to keep an eye on your toes with this little disappearing blocks, because if they, um, manage to did this little puff of smoke, um, effects, this means that these invisible, um, blocks will essentially disappear or reappear every time when this, um, goes like rounds repeat, so... Screw it, I don't care for the 1-up, because even then I've got maximum amount of lives at the point, and as well, especially the, um, the likes of the, um, well, don't want to get hurt by that meteor shower at the end. And if I do, I have to redo the whole level again. Alright, so we've literally we got about two levels left, so here we go. The next level we have right here, actually I was going to be using my propeller mushroom, Luigi, so here we go, which was... Oh yeah, two words, Bowser Jr. Who would like to... I would found this secret exit as well. Well, I mean, first of all, you actually. And it says yes on there. Okay, so next level we have is Peter's Castle's, um... First floor, technically speaking, is current events. Hmm, current events. More likely just the more events is being, um, about to be approaching. So, much like New Super Mario Bros. um, you, that we're gonna have to deal with this tilting platform. In this case, it shows number one on the end, on the center. This means is that you're gonna have to be sure you need to actually let the enemies off the, uh, the platform, as you can tell, because if it's reached to zero, um, this means that, again, that you won't able to progress unless you get rid of something, like, you know, coins, enemies, and stuff. And also, you're gonna have to dodge those electricity stuff, so yeah. I don't think this level will actually um, force you to go all the way up, so instead, it actually takes you to the horizontal way this time around, because rather than just actually going all the way up to the vertical to set the apartment, so even then, though, instead. No, uh oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not even especially good with this. Oh god. No, 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 no. So yeah, you're gonna have to be very careful with this, because you don't want to let the, um, the lava rise in, because if, again, if you touch the lava by a complete accident, you ended up going to die instantly, so... 
Yeah, it's probably as basic as you can get for this level, as far as this level's general goes. So, there's the... Uh... <sighs> I have no idea why I got hit by the bomb bomb right there. I have to point this out right now. And unfortunately for me, though, I actually lost my um, propeller mushroom right now. But, whatever. At least even then, though, that we actually approach into the final level, in this case, the last level in Peach's Castle, well... At least I will actually exclude the, um, the special world after this, so... Here we go, the, um, the final level in Peach's Castle is named... Peach's Castle's, um, top floor, which is the final battle. Okay. Similar name as it does for New Super Mario Bros. U, um, counterparts. Oh, hey, hello there, Bowser Jr. You trying to once again strike on me, but this time I'm actually gonna be, uh... Dealing with a uh, most tough obstacles now, Stephen so Nando, that I'm pretty sure I might as well start to dodge through everything. So, <gasps> oh, that was so bad. That was super, super bad right there. You know what's kind of funny, actually? Because, um, you never knew Super Mario Brothers U Let's Play that Sylvester and Chip already done. Uh, what's stranger about this is that, uh, we usually died on the exactly the same levels, which, in this case, Peach's Castle 1, and then the Peach's Castle's castle herself, which is very strange. But even then, no, still, that's probably because I wasn't paying attention to that whatsoever, so... That's probably my fault for that part, so anyway. So as far as this section is concerned, it feels basically similar to New Super Mario Bros. U version, but except it's gonna be a lot more tougher and difficult, because now there are too much enemies on screen, and also not to mention tough obstacles in on its way, and also... And, uh, I'm pretty sure not that these, um, some of these star coins are, uh, quite tricky sometimes, especially the second one, because you have to, like, although, conveniently enough, though, is that much like in New Super Mario Bros. U, in the, some of these star coins, you need to require Bowser Jr. in order to actually just to give you a, or just bust out these brick blocks until you actually get yourself a star coin, so, that's one thing I need to agree in common. And while the bad though, as soon as we enter this door, we actually got ourselves 250 seconds. That's actually quite a lot of time, actually. Even for uh, plenty of time for that while doing so, so... Yeah, that's how this usually goes. And obviously, since much like New Super Mario Bros. U version, that in this in total, um, in this uh, particular section, doesn't actually change the, um, the, the layouts. Unlike, um, similar to how it does in New Super Mario Bros. U version. So even then, though, hello, Bowser! It has been a while since we're actually going to be dealing with you since, um, the Mario, uh, Mario's battle, but except I'm going to be doing with you once again, but this time with Luigi. So even then, though, you're pathetically easy, even though I'd be using the PA coin just to actually do this. And there we go. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sure enough that um, Kemic and Bowser Jr. will be up to something will be, will be no good. In this case, at this point right now. So in this case, once again, that um, they'll seemingly, they'll let um, Bowser go giant formation. So, simple self-explanatory when it comes to when this thing happens. So, even though it's pretty obvious at this point. So, and then once we make our way to the rooftop part now. Which, this means that Peach might actually say Luigi as opposed to Mario, because obviously, since it's new Super Luigi U, Peach will say something different compared to Mario's name, so... Yeah, that's how this usually goes. Here's Princess Peach off into the distance. <gasps> and sure enough that she will get trapped in here, much like in a new Super Mario Bros. U, by the likes of Bowser Jr. So in this case, the entire battle itself is basically giant Bowser all over again, but this time around though, we have to deal with him in Luigi's physics this time. And also, we have less time than the ones in New Super Mario Bros. U version, but I think I still got plenty of time in order to deal with this final battle though, so there, at least uh, this boss battle in general. Um, there's nothing remarkably different than the ones in New Super Mario Bros. U version, but all you have to do is pretty simple, we have to like... Um, use the Koopa Clown card, specifically the Bowser Jr. is a variation of the Koopa Clown card, and then once you hop into that, then you're actually trying to, um, fly up for altitude for a few moments. And then after when you do this, then, um, you can actually just about to actually try to, ha um, hit his weak spot, and that was actually his head itself. So yeah, you have to hit him, like, three times and stuff, so that's all you're literally trying to do in this battle. So yeah, and also, if he wants a while, dodge these meteor showers and stuff, so... 
Conveniently enough though, we breeze through this game quite literally fast compared to how it does in 2013 version because usually sometimes that when they some of these worlds anyway, like for example, they sort of juggle God dang it. Anyway though, no, um I'm pretty sure that if, it, if it's any possibility for me if we're actually just trying to get up to that um, the Cooper Clown Junior card. Specifically when I uh, when I managed to actually equip myself the uh the uh, PA coin, so that just means I'm probably going to end up reaching up there without even uh, waiting for a few seconds or notice. Even then, I'll probably should find out until when I actually get to this point. So, here we go with the third and final phrase. So, even then, though, this boss battle is pretty simple, simple and similar. So, even though, though, except that we have to deal with him with uh, less time now. So, then again, it's mainly due to the fact this is all become when it comes to difficulty this time. So, anyway. Uh, if only if I try to actually try to land on him, I should be able to be fine, but still, sometimes that I, uh, wasn't paying too much of this old notice. Come on then, Bowser Jr., do his diving attack again, which sure enough, I'm sure enough we use this as there. Alright, I'll finish you off, Bowser, so... What the?! How did that happen there? Oh, alright, if you wait for that for, um, for a little bit too long... Sometimes Bowser will actually just try to outright claw you, which sure enough, I have to give a bit of a, um, it deserved that from, um, doing that attack there, Bowser, I have to say, after when I purposely, um, did a flawless victory and used the Mario Bros. U version, but, hey, at least you got the, um, you got deserved me from that, so, there we go, Bowser is defeated for a fifth time in your Super Mario Bros. games. Well, at least at this point, um, when it comes to the 2D Mario games anyway, well, except for New Super Mario Bros. 2 USA, because using New Super, uh, no, not New Super Mario Bros., uh, Super Mario Bros. 2 Doki Doki Panic, that, um, Princess Peach was actually unlocked from the get-go, or in this case, she is a playable character. But even then, though, this is actually the ninth time we actually defeat Bowser. Well, I would say, um, uh, yeah, it was probably, uh, roughly, um, uh, Nine, because usually Bowser wasn't in Super Mario Bros. 2 Doki Doki Panic. So anyway, so we managed to save Princess Peach yet again. But even though no, no, this time Ronan and Mario joins to the group, but also that Luigi actually saves her instead. But again, I would have um, appreciated for how um, we could just use Daisy instead of um, Peach. But I mean, that would make it more to delve for, for it makes sense for a story. But still. So yeah, it's an ending to this, or the ending to this um, particular new Super Luigi. It feels exactly similar to the ones in the Mario version, but except that obviously Mario wasn't there, so... And also what's a little bit more um, different compared to new Super Mario Bros. U version is that, I believe, if you actually be playing this, um, um, play as Nabbit in that particular level, if you actually be using two-player mode, um, that way you can actually see Nabbit is actually um, in the background department on that particular cutscene, although... To be fair, it wasn't actually there in, uh, while he was walking towards Princess Peach. Now, the only ones are Luigi and these two colored toes. So that's all they're really they're trying to say to this. Hooray! Mushroom Kingdom's be restored yet again, but this time no Mario included, and well, obviously we still have two colored toes. And Luigi himself, and you can tell there's Nabbit on here. And then, much like New Super Mario Bros. U, that we ended up in a credit sequence, which behaves exactly like how it does in New Super Mario Bros. U counterpart. So you still collect some coins, mess around with your characters, arm um, placements and stuff. However, I might actually gonna do this in a different placement, because you never knew Super Mario Bros. U that I just placed um, two colored toes on the exactly same place as what I was doing right now. And place Luigi on the top right, and then place Mario on the top left. So instead, I'm actually going to be uh, just uh, doing two colored toads in the exactly same placement. But, uh, oh, why can I can't grab Nabbit there? Oh, come on, that would be kind of um, cool if I actually just get the hold of him. But, no, I guess that's not a chance. So in this case, Nabbit will actually go stay at the far bottom, while Luigi, he's going to be placed in all the way to the center. So... Yeah, that's all those goes when it comes to that, so... Yeah, if you probably couldn't tell already that I'm actually gonna be, um... 
gonna mention this right now about the overall of new Super Luigi U so far. Um, overall of the um, new Super Luigi U, this was actually a pretty great game. Like, um, usually speaking of such, it feels very similar to new Super Mario Bros. U. Like, still exactly the same level themes. Although, except the fact that the only noticeable difference was is the challenge this time around, because you know, do you do have 100 seconds left to your disposal, and also the levels themselves are much more harder than the Super Mario Bros. U version, because, you know, shorter time limit, and as well as star, lo star coin locations, well, they are pretty easy at first, while at the same time, they might actually be a lot more harder to find now, because even though they're, they're quite well hidden, because especially noticeable, like, take for instance, um, Acorn Plains Dash 2 and Sparkling Waters Dash 2, for example, that those two star particular star coins were literally hidden in this little mini alcove. So that's all that they're, they're really trying to desperate to how make this game much more harder than the original New Super Mario Bros. U. So I get, at least I'll give this game credit for that. But at least the music is still pretty much the same, and then the visuals look remarkably similar. But except the noticeable difference was is that it, it, it did act, actually add in some different textures this time around, which I give um, this game more credit for. And also not to mention that uh, one, uh, the only uh, thing I really loved about this game is the fact that you, there was actually a whole bunch of Luigi's everywhere, like uh, some bunch of references and some cameos and even some references from the other Luigi games. Well, except for Mario's Missing because that game does not actually count at all. But I digress though. So yeah, um, the only nickel thing I can think of about this game is the fact that I found that the Nabby Chase sequence are much more harder than the ones in uh, the new Super Mario Bros. U, U, U version because rarely though did I ever seem to die plenty of times in the sort of jungle sequences. Most likely the, uh, the thinner platforms is mostly prime example I found that particular Nappy Chase sequence is by far the hardest to me. But even then, though, still, regardless of that, though, that this game is probably the most recommendation of the Mario's DLC department. At least every now and day, since now they actually add in New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Luigi U combo pack on the physical release. Which I found is kind of a cool thing, especially Nintendo Selects actually makes the uh, these two games into one slightly cheaper now, which is a pretty good thing, especially in the eShop downloadable version, so... If you want to get new Super Luigi U, however, you can uh, it actually just about to download it from the DLC department, which usually costs about roughly $17.99, or you can get it for as a physical copy. I think the phys physical copy will get a little bit more expensive now, but in that again, it's mostly because they actually go for a digital download version instead. And now, and then you can actually get the um, new Super Mario Bros. U and new Super Luigi U's combo pack um, all in one disc every nowadays. So yeah, you can definitely recommend that version over to the, um, you know. So anyways, though, so now we complete the game. So much like in New Super Mario Bros. U, that you can access to the first star after when you beat the game and stuff. So, and also uh, that you can actually access to the secret island and also the special world, as I mentioned earlier, the Superstar Rope. In order to access to play one of those stages that, that again, much like New Super Mario Bros. U, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, now you're gonna have to get all the star coins in each world. But except the fact that it's gonna be a much more different than the ones in New Super Mario Bros. U. Well, it still functions the same thing, but except the level theme is gonna be more, now much more tougher now. So this is the thing I might actually be curious about this. Okay, so... Yeah, that's all there was to say about this particular video. So yeah, I'm guessing that um, since this Let's Play wasn't exactly over yet, but in this case, though, we're going to have to end things off here. So much like New Super Mario Bros. U, we actually got ourselves some of these stars based off of what um, tasks that you've actually completed. Being the, um, the file selection stuff. So even then, though, we got the um, the first star by simply beating the game. And the, and the second star coins by ba or the second stars by basically getting all the star coins in walls 1 through 8, except Superstar Road. And then beat every level for the third and... Uh, third star is by basically beating every levels except Superstar Road. And much like New Super Mario Bros. U, you do have an option to save at any point or what have you. So yeah, that's how usually well this goes when it comes to doing after when you beat the game. So anyways, I'm gonna have to end things off here, so join me next time on Let's Play New Super Luigi U, that we're about to be begun, the final world in the game in New Super Luigi U, that will have to be probably the hardest world in the entire game, at least in my opinion anyway, Superstar Road. But anyway, see you guys for that. Later, fellas.